Welcome to my kitchen. Today in my recipe, I'm going to show you how to make sabudana kichdi. It is most often made when you're fasting or when you're sick. But at home, I typically make it for breakfast, pack it for a school lunchbox, or even serve it as a tea time snack when I have guests at home. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in to see how to make this dish. To begin making the sabudana kichdi, we first have to soak the sabudana for about 3 to 4 hours or overnight. It depends upon the kind of sabudana you are using. You get big pearl, um, that is sago pearls or small ones. Once we have uh, soaked it and it for enough number of hours, you need to drain out all the water. Um, use a strainer and drain out all the water because uh, while cooking it, we, don't, we just need to sprinkle water to cook the sabadana. Now that we have drained out the water, we'll make the masala that goes for the sabadana kichdi. To begin, into a wok, I've preheated the wok, add in a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil heats up, gonna add in the mustard seeds, the cumin seeds, and allow them to crackle. The mustard and cumin crackle. I have some chopped onions here that I'm going to add in along with some green chilies. The onions and green chilies are optional but it does add a good taste to the sabutana. And the grated ginger. and some chopped curry leaves. We'll stir all of them together until the onions have become lightly tender. Once the onions are lightly tender, we'll be ready to add the potatoes. I've already boiled the potatoes and cubed them and kept. We'll toss the potatoes along with the onions for about a minute. Once the potatoes get well coated with the cumin and mustard, I'm going to add in the turmeric powder, some salt, and the soaked sabadana. Stir all the ingredients until the sabudana and the potatoes get well coated once again. Keep the heat to low because you don't want the sabudana to start sticking to the bottom and, um, and then it'll become too soggy and you won't be able to take it out. The sabudana is now cooked. It's been about seven to eight minutes that it was simmering and I kept stirring it occasionally. At this stage, I'm going to add in the roasted peanuts that have been crushed and lightly pounded. A juice from one lemon. We'll do another half. And lots of chopped coriander leaves. Give it a stir and allow the, all the ingredients to get combined well. And the sabadana kichdi is now ready to be served. Hope you enjoyed watching the video recipe of how to make sabadana kichdi. Didn't you think it was really quick and simple? And it's delicious too. Do give it a try and when you do, give your feedback in the comments below. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.